Mm, I don't feel Christmassy yet, but uh, art journaling with a winter theme seems like a great option to start off. I found this beautiful image of two snowmen that could be such a beautiful focal point for my art journaling spread and that's exactly what I will use and hope to use today for my project. To start off I'm gonna gesso my uh, spread with using white gesso and just before you be asking, this is just an ordinary notebook, nothing special. Very very delicate pages, thin, thick, thin, very thin. So I glued two pages together, three pages here. And I decided to dedicate this particular tiny small book for a month of, well now, kind of, where I will be creating some maybe journal, um, Christmas pages, maybe more winter wonderland pages, maybe some best wishes, uh, seasonal greetings, I don't know, we shall see. But uh, instead of filling up my uh, filling up my regular journal book, I wanted to have first of all something small to fill in. So this book uh, seems like a good option because <laughs> it's it's it doesn't have that many pages, and it's uh, cheap to buy as well. <laughs> Just an ordinary notebook. I know we can always glue pages together without stress that. Uh, Oh, my page, my book is not thick enough, it's not mixed media uh, orientated or dedicated for mixed media artists. That's okay. You can make a dedicated book, uh, any book you wish, any book of your choice. And by gluing pages together or by buying a book that it's a second-hand book and has some thick pages. So, you know, there is no such a thing. Well, there are mixed media books that are dedicated for heavy, du heavy work of mixed media. Uh, I don't own m most of them. I have maybe one or two and they halfway filled or not even. <laughs> and I like to just use what I have around me and not necessarily finish off the whole book. So when I don't finish the book, I don't feel bad for not, finish it, for not finishing it because I can uh, just move on to the next one uh, because it's quite cheap to buy, so I don't feel bad. And those actually those actually notebooks are from kids, you know, not this one particular, but them kind of. It's like a school notebook. Now, as you can see, my pages are are a little bit fluffy, fluffy now uh, because they are very thick, uh, thin. Sorry, but I really don't mind that. I really, really don't mind that. So I'm gonna dry this, and we will add some colors. Pages are dry now and uh, next step is to decide for what colors we're gonna go for and now to show you how I'm choosing my colors as you can see my image has some purple and some pink so I decided to go for those two colors the pinkish and the purple here and make my background with those colors. Also, the reason I choose oxides, it's only because of you guys. I know you have been asking to use in art journaling oxides, so I hope to use those and um, hopefully this will create some beautiful background effects. Uh, of course, you can work on watercolor paper, it would work beautifully as well. So I'm thinking to basically uh, use it um, on my desk, spray it with water, and mix it a little bit and hopefully we will have some sort of um, uh, some sort of interesting uh, interesting look on our background uh, of course you can always uh, if you don't like it you can always uh, rub off it with your with the gesso so cover it so don't worry so this is my kind of idea now to oops <laughs> to cover up my background and it's definitely too dark but I'm gonna work around that with gesso in a minute and I'm gonna probably soften it down now I'm gonna it's a waste to not use that page just now not call that color now so let me grab something else maybe basically some other journal book like this one. I have this. I love that book. I should do some flip. Flip through, I'm guessing. <laughs> Oops. That's some drawing here. No. Let me just take that and this. There we go. 
<laughs> okay, so here is our page and I'm thinking to move this even more with some water, spritz a little bit. Um, instead of cleaning the table you should look after your pages while the <laughs> oxides are still wet. But for me that's all fine. You can have a look now that it color wise it looks lovely. It will match now. Um, let me see if I can move that a little bit more with my maybe with my brush. Do I need that really? Maybe not so much. Maybe not so so much. I'm gonna dry this. Mm, pages are dry, so I'm gonna just add a touch of white ge of gesso just to soften up my uh, design. I hope you can see what I mean by soften this up. Uh, I just wish this to be more delicate, more small, subtle, subtle. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Um, I wish this to be more delicate for sure more delicate so you can always use gesso to either cover things if you don't like or you can just work your magic and just try to maybe add a little extra detail or cover up things change their feeling towards you I like now I love what I see right now I think I wish this middle part to be more bright so I'm gonna add a little more gesso here and here just a little bit Again, I'm going with the flow with you right now without much of a worry. Now you can see how delicate and pretty that is and this will match and our image will nicely stand out. So let me dry this, this bit now and I'm gonna come back to you in just two seconds. In the meantime I fussy cut my beautiful snowmans and I'm gonna add just uh, sprays of white maybe and some pearly white if you have some shimmer I think it would be so nice to add the shimmer on top you can see this react a little bit here and there <laughs> it would be nice to add some shimmer to our project and when it dries it will be nice all nice and uh, shiny and shimmery. I'm gonna add a little more and I'm gonna hope for some bit of uh, some bit of color movement like this. Oh I like that. I love that. Now I'm gonna, I will try that. I wonder if you can see a little bit of shimmer. Maybe you actually can. <laughs> I'm gonna attach my gorgeous image of my two snowmans into my page and I will add some interest and texture to my background right now but first I wish this to be attached oh no 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 there we go first I wish them to be to be glued down there we go I think we need a little more glue on the edges maybe and there as well not this way <laughs> there we go okay but the machine <laughs> that will help maybe maybe better that's nice okay and there we go I like that. I wish to create some sort of interesting uh, colored texture. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some modeling paste here on my block, acrylic block. I wish this to be shimmery, so I will add some glitter. There we go. We're gonna add some glitter. And I really wish, let me just mix that first, let's see. And I, I think I really, really wish for some bit of color, maybe, or not. What do you think? What's your thoughts on it? What's your thoughts on it? Oh, the nice shimmer here that we see. I don't know if this will be visible or... Uh, it's actually... It's actually it is visible a little bit and a little bit it's not. <laughs> I don't like that. But what if I add mica flakes, a bit more thicker textury thing? And I also have another glitter 
why not mix that it's a glass glitter I'm sure you have some sort of shimmery glassy things at home you know what I think I'm gonna just mix this and when I will add that to my page I'm gonna sprinkle it more with glitter because the shimmer is disappearing right now uh, inside my paste so it's not what I wished for but that's okay now I'm gonna go for go for it <laughs> I'm gonna go for that beautiful oh don't move beautiful sky with shimmery stars mm-hmm Oh, there we go. I'm going to do similar thing here, but I'm going to leave out some space for a title, I hope. For a title, so I'm going to go for kind of here and there. So I hope to have some space there left. Love that. No. Oh, super. Now let's grab quickly my, uh, my, my glitter and I'm gonna just on top of this since it's still wet. Oh, okay, let's go. For <laughs> let's go for that totally. I'm gonna just, yeah, I like that. Super. So it's nice and dimensional stars. A little interest there because the mica flakes, it's kind of given this extra uh, touch um, of the, in, uh, uh, the, the stars are not even. And you know what I was thinking, what would be nice to take off the excess from here and maybe from here as well and add, quite messy now, <laughs> and add actually here because it's our like our snowy snow kind of thing here oh look at that I love it you know what I'm gonna probably go for even more on the other page kind of here just a little bit so this will be nicely together oh how messy <laughs> I love that mess okay something like like it oh I love that okay this is nice and the fact that we added all sorts of things in there makes this nice and fluffy and it's like your snowflake paste created on your own you can add shimmer at the end as I as I am doing now now one thing I'm gonna do is leave that naturally to dry for a few minutes and then I'm gonna get the excess off and I'm gonna come back to you. This is still pretty much wet but that's okay. Uh, in the meantime I will I will make it a title myself. I actually don't do that often or at all <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it and that's it and I will hope to make something pretty and I will just sketch it maybe gently with my pencil first maybe season's greetings would that be nice so uh huh <laughs> Seasons, greetings. Oh, that is not too bad. Now it's time to <laughs> do some color on it. Mm, I have them Zeke's uh, brushes, so let's see if this is. Uh, that's probably that would be probably super nice for shadowing or something so I probably should have done um, maybe maybe the um, 
a black lettering first and then do some some coloring on the side yeah I'm gonna redo that that's okay <laughs> okay I hope you can see well I hope you can see well so okay I'm gonna basically just go over with some black honestly I'm so uh, running away from writing myself and either I stamp rarely as well I usually add some sticker or some yeah sticker probably is the is the answer but that I wish to go out of my comfort zone I wish to stretch I know it's not gonna be perfect I know it's not gonna be you know 100% right from the from start but it's a start I guess and this <laughs> doesn't want to write where's some trial paper I think it doesn't want to write on over things but that's okay we we get there we get there mm -hmm. so I wish to stretch a little bit I wish to just uh, try to try to be more courageous courageous and just try and yeah that pink I should do afterwards <laughs> but that's okay look that's fine we learn uh, every time with a new video with a new uh, project we learn something always isn't it so it's a great lesson. I hope you don't see my head because I'm bending now. I hope you're not seeing my head stick stick. Oh, yeah, that's being left-handed. Where's the tissue? There we go. Left-handed uh, person. Um, I hope you're not seeing my head in the camera. I I don't think so, but it is possible. <laughs> it is possible. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we have. <laughs> Season greetings. We managed to do some. And I'm gonna add more color now. Even more. It's already there, but I can add more. Surely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about some other color? What else we have? We have some purple here. We do have some bit of purple. So we can, we can even add... A different color here and there. Super. I'm glad we started and open a season for well not Christmas season but well definitely some bit of a <laughs> season uh, with the autumn projects and now the winter wonderland season seasons greetings. I like that. Now I'm thinking that maybe maybe if I go around with my ink just here and there can you see with the with this uh, zig thing that it just would be maybe nice to have this outlined a little bit just a little bit not too much so it will be more engaged with the page I guess that's my hope mm -hmm. And just gently smush it around and blend it out. Super. So we have this delicate shadow effect and being joined with the page more. Can you see? I, I even go more. I will go more in two seconds. <laughs> Not too fast because I don't want this to dry so I, I wish to have a chance to uh, play around with the shadow here. So, oops, I just went over, over the hat of our Santi. And there's lots of glitter there now. <laughs> that's okay, that's fine. Now, what about a little touches of the black? Like touches, I mean touches. Mm-hmm, I like, oops, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. I like that. I, I should be more precise sometimes because it's good to not oops, not worry about 
things but sometimes you need the precision a little bit so it wouldn't be like here on your hat <laughs> I truly don't mind but yeah Marta just try to be a little more precise with what you're doing yeah just a little bit at least so that way we have this bigger shadow darker shadow now and kind of more standing um, it's not standing out but it's kind of it's given the definition I guess the definition of being there a little bit I'm gonna cheat and turn the page around <laughs> why not okay super I like that very much <laughs> awesome so I'm soften up as you can tell just a little bit I'm gonna go back no 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 I'm gonna go back there and just do it again a little bit I love that I love that how it's turning right now mm-hmm it's nice it's nice shadow it is nice super that's what I like that's what I love maybe here as well just a little bit what if I'm gonna go for a little bit of shadow where my stars are not all of them but just a few maybe just what will happen if you know what will happen if hmm yeah why not? Interesting now. I'm just adding water here and there so it does bleed nicely on my page and I like that definition of my stars. I like that. So it not ever I don't think I'm gonna do all of them, just a little touches of um so the stars also feels that they are slightly joined here that they are there for a reason you know what I mean and actually them stars now are making my page I feel that them being here um, <laughs> glitter everywhere <laughs> the stars being more f defined now and kind of um, yeah I like that much more now I I think it could be more or less it could be more delicate you can you know go for a more delicate look even if you feel that oh the star it's too dark it's okay I, I, I really don't mind that I love it oh my but now we most definitely must do this star maybe I should get rid of the glitter first <laughs> I didn't but that's okay so this star here as well and for the contrast for the and that's it actually that is it that would be more or less yeah I would imagine that this is it and how small addition of outlining silly stars makes this look so interesting and different and now we have this beautiful uh, darkish uh, something on the sky happening I think it's quite refreshing what do you think I really like that I really really love it so sometimes just not sometimes always it's worth to try if you're not too sure that's okay just try it just try it all you will lose is time and that's it and a bit of energy of yours but that's all 
I love that. I think it's stunning, it's cute. But I'm gonna maybe surprise you if I say that I wish. Maybe for a tiny shadow here. I'm not too sure if this is a disaster now, but oh, I like that. Oops, too much water. I love that. Uh, as you can see, I'm just gently touching like tiny, tiny, teensy, 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 tiny. Seriously, tiny. So it's not going to be too dark. I love it. Oh, wow. I love that so much. So much. Whoa. <laughs> but I'm dreaming for it to be more... What's the word? A more... I'm adding more, 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 because I wish this to be, to be more like, yeah, I don't know if this is any good, mm, maybe not so, so, <laughs> maybe not here, okay, that's it, that's nice, I love that, I really do love that, and I'm gonna dry my, my little uh, people here, my little um, snowmans, and I will outline them a little more. I'm, I, I think I'm pretty much done here, but I wish to outline this a little more, just a little more maybe, just a little more, especially in a few places, and that's it, are we, do we need anything else guys, what do you think, I do feel that maybe it would be super nice, if we add a little bit of dark here so that way it will be like a sh shadow <laughs> or something just a little bit and let's see <laughs> let's see Marta your experiments yeah that's it that's it can you see it is just giving this um, texture kind of bigger definition yet again and it's not as if they standing in I don't know it's, I, it just feels right for me <laughs> intuitive or intuitive I don't know never know how to say now it feels right more or less because it's not in the that they're standing in the in in in, in the snow in kind of I don't know it's just right now <laughs> and I'm gonna just be super delicate on that because I wish this to be to stay a little darker as it is as it is without smushing it too much if you know what I mean so I'm adding but I love how it is now this image I got I have few more and I wonder should I add it to my Etsy store I have some other images beautiful wintery images as well and I have like three of the same so I could make some kit with those images since I won't use them all obviously I won't use them all since um, I don't think I'll be working on the same image again isn't it maybe once but five times or three times I don't think so so maybe I I'll add it to my Etsy would you like that and also do you remember the, do you remember the string from my dad he found it in a smaller quantities um, so he's he shipped it to me I hope he did. I think he did. <laughs> so I'm gonna have them soon, I hope, uh, in my Etsy store. As I promised, I promised you have it sooner, but instead of making smaller quantities of the big... This, I'll show you the string I'm talking about, or I want. No. Oh yeah, I have it. So this, uh, my dad's string. So he found it in a smaller quantities, and instead of me making it smaller for you from a big a roll I will uh, he he found them in a smaller so they will be in the shop soon and those images maybe I'll show you what else I have yeah I have images like this I found them in a store and they they only sell them in large quantities so I can put them in put that in my Etsy maybe I will um I do believe it would be so amazing to have just some white splashes and that will be it there we go I have some white liquid here <laughs> and let's do some snow <laughs> the white splashes will be so nice I think and definitely finishing the page completely now isn't it it is just what I was missing exactly what I was missing a little bit of snowy 
snow, f snow, uh, snow, <laughs> a little bit of snow, like splashes white. Splashes always make me smile. Okay, now I'm glad we opened the season, and I am gonna give you links below the video to my Etsy store for whatever. There are loads of new things there, stencils, stickers I added, so now you can buy it directly from me if you wish. If you haven't checked it yet, please do. Well, if you Google Etsy Maremi Small Art, you find it, no problem, but link will be below as always. And there is a competition happening on my Facebook page, so have a check right now uh, if you're watching it, so you can win some something interesting, and that is my online class with a kit to purchase. Well, you can win it without purchasing, of course. Anyway, anyway, how about this, guys? Season's greetings, yay! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for uh, being here with me today. What are untypical colors, pinks and purple, for a uh, winter, but why not? Why not? I hope you had a good time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to uh, chat to you super very soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.